Good morning to you all, oh, ladies and gentlemen of the press. Greetings to you all once again. Happy New Day, Happy Monday, and Happy New Week. May the God Almighty you continue to protect and preserve us oh, from all troubles of uh, this world. Because uh, each day that comes comes with, untro- uh, with uh, its own trouble and its own challenges. Uh, and I pray that the challenges of this day will never overwhelm or overcome us. My wonderful people, may I hear this headline oh, before I go tell on the reason why I'm bringing this news oh, to my people. God will grant Tinubu good health, long life to turn Nigerians around, according to uh, Sunday Iboho. And I know why I bring this message. The reason why Masan Lamde Khan have not been released is that this is the reason. Because this guy now have already joined the moving train. The offer they gave to him is okay for him. He accepted the offer. They released him from a uh, uh, prison and he had to uh, to his family in Germany. Since then, this is him coming out again to say something. The same thing that happens to uh, Owazrike is exactly the same thing that happened to Sunday Boho. Once they capture them, they hit them with the offer they cannot reject. They accept it. Highest, they will tell them just please. They will put them for a VIP prison, my dear. Just anything where you like eat. Even if you like, say they go to bring a book for you there. Where you go to just the night they go. That's exactly what happened. And they allow him to spend two years for people to think that oh, all this things is real, my dear. It is not real. That uh, snake that bite uh, was like, don't bite Sunday boho. Oh, I'm gonna remember this is the, the same Sunday boho is the, the one that came out the other day and said uh, Mazen Nam the Kano and Epa that we should march together uh, to the Yoruba nation and the Igbo nation so that uh, we can be able to I mean I mean I mean push the force for the world and also the so-called Zoological people of Nigeria to know that we are serious to get our own nation. But how far now? You want to plan with a Yoruba man, my dear, they will, at the middle of the at the middle of the river, they will push inside the river and accept whatever they see and they move ahead. So but to us, the highest order you can ever deal with is a Yoruba man. I keep I keep saying it tomorrow. The highest saboteur that anyone can deal with is a Yoruba man. And look at it, Sunday Boho have turned now and said, Hey, Trinbu God will grant Trinbu a good head and they will turn this around. But during the time of Buhari, you are jumping up and down. Carrying uh, juju every now and then. Now it will become a uh, God with Gantunumbu. Who knows how much they must have given to him? Ndara and Dara, Sabutu of the highest order. Anyway, my wonderful people, Abego, the bottom line is that it is Biafra or nothing. We no grief for anybody this 2024, as long as this Biafra is concerned. Mazenam the Kano have already taken the burden off the Biafra, so our freedom is at hand, whether the devil like it or not. He is there. Not because uh, the federal government want to keep him. No, because they have hit him with offers that he rejected. That is why you see they are kept. How can I mean in a, in in a civilized country like Nigeria, case we case we come from uh, high court to Supreme Court, Supreme Court discharge him. Let the the, the appeal court. Uh, sorry, uh, from a uh, high court to appeal court, from appeal court to Supreme Court and and the appeal court discharged and acquitted him. Then let Supreme Court validate the ruling of the appeal court. They said no uh, that had jurisdiction and they bounce uh, the kind of uh, back to High Court. Knowing fully well that even the High Court don't have even the jurisdiction to try Mazinam the Kano. You see the point now? All this is just delay tactics to make Nazan and the Kano denounce Biafra. But the young man is very strong. If not for his head, my dear, if you like, keep him there for 100 years. As long as he's alive, he will keep on telling you that it is Biafra or nothing. And that is the spirit I want everybody to grab in this 2024. You that is listening to me, hearing my voice and commenting on any of my posts, have this thing in your mind that we are unbreakable and it is Biafra or nothing, whether the devil like it or not. I beg, let us get to the reason why we are here. Let us hear the, the, the nyanyampo and the nonsense and the trash where this so-called Sunday Boho is talking. Yoruba National Agitators, under their more popular known as Sunday Boho, has praised Bula Ahmed Tunumbu for his early actions in office. They must always praise. He emphasized that Tunumbu is making commendable decisions and taking uh, uh, these uh, appropriate steps. Iboho conveyed this uh, sentiment during an interview with the Alaroye online TV, which the nation monitored uh, in Germany over the weekend. Iboho expresses a desire for Bola Me Tunumbu to be mindful of the suffering of the Yoruba people, anticipating an eight year time. He conveyed hopes for divine uh, assistance throughout Tunumbu's uh, governance, wishing him a long life to effect positive changes 
end the so-called Nigeria. He said, I pray for a good health for Bola Me Tunumbu. He is doing well. And so far, he has been taking major steps to reform the country. Many of the key appointments in key offices so far shows he is aware of things around him, including the, corrupt, the, corrupt, the corrupted ones. I want Bola Me Tunumbu to remember that Yoruba is suffering. He will definitely use eight years. God will help him through the governor's uh, governance process. God will grant him a long life to be able to turn this country around. I am currently in Germany with my family, and I know God is in charge of my life. I have no work here in Germany. My work is in Nigeria. I am a car dealer. I have been selling cars since 1996. With respect to my properties that we are destroyed, I leave all to God. He is the one that owns our lives. We should be, uh, we should all be after a good name and work. Those whose lives, lives were lost during the incident at my house pained me. Even my mother lost her life during the Yoruba nation struggle. My mother is, my, okay, my mother's death pained me. It has been, uh, it has made me deeply worried. I am begging God to please help me out to bury my mother. She is still uh, in the mortuary. I know that's how it pleases God to do it. According to Sunday, I don't know more. I will bury my mother soon. I will come home and like Nigeria soon. I do not regret that I led the Yoruba nation struggle. I want to call on all of us to be in unity. In another development, we have Nigeria could have been on fire. Had the Supreme Court sacked Yusuf as Kano. Uh, government, according to Galadima, this old fool that always talk with from two sides of his mouth, Nigeria will be on fire or Kano will be on fire. Uh, is uh, is uh, Abba Yusuf, a uh, governor of, I mean, a uh, president of the so-called uh, zoo? Dara and Dara, look at how he look like. A prominent figure in the new Nigerian People's Party, Babuba Galadima has uh, expressed uh, his relief and perspective on the potential uh, consequences of the Supreme Court's uh, recent uh, decisions, particularly concerning the governorship tussle in the state. In his view, the country would have faced significant unrest had the Supreme Court decided to oust Governor Abba Yusuf of Kano State in his landmark rulings last Friday. Galadema extended his congratulations to Bola Ahmed Tunumbu of the All Poverty Congress APC for respecting the judiciary's uh, independence, particularly as the matter involved Nasiri Gawuna, a member of the party. Speaking on Channel's television, he said, I am congratulating Bola Me Tunumbu for not uh, interfering with the judicial process because uh, Nigeria would have been on fire by now if what happened on Friday did not happen. I congratulate him, Tunumbu, for having the strength of character and you can see that the peace has pervaded the whole Nigeria and our rating in the eyes of the world has come out. Nigeria News recall that the Apex Court last Friday delivered judgment in the eight governorship uh, dispute, obtaining the verdicts of lower courts in three of the cases. Of the eight cases, those of Kanos and Farah and Plateau area stood out as the Supreme Court overruled the earlier decisions of the tribunal and the appellate court to reinstate the governors in the three states. Before Friday's judgment on Kano governorship dispute, tension was high and anxiety palpable in Kano. Speaking on Channel's television Sunday, politics, Galadema said there was a plan to wrest power for the, from the NNPP in Kano as the party kicked out the APC from the seat of power in the last pool. He alleged there was a plan to take Kano by force from every level, even as he congratulated the Supreme Court for restoring the honor dignity of the judiciary. If they had ruled otherwise, they could have been stoned on the street of Nigeria and nobody could be able to ride a car with the inscription of Supreme Court of Nigeria and there will be and there will have a, been a total of a confidence in the judiciary and I don't think anybody would have dreamed of going to the Supreme Court to seek redress. Anyway, my wonderful people, and I don't hear them all, this one, an early Monday morning broadcast 
where we are speak to the undiluted truth. This one I just tip of the iceberg, what I'm about to speak to them. Because today is Monday and it's going to be fire for fire, back to back. So my people, make on a like, share, comment, and make sure you keep subscribing to this channel for more and more interesting videos coming your way. My name is Siri Man, I'm Andy Anes, reporting live from the platform of Okute Daily Talk. Please continue sharing this message. I'll be right back again with another blockbuster. Have a nice day. Give me